the Mark III Supra Film. Hey guys, Chris here. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I got the radio out. So I'm gonna try to mess around with this thing, try to take it apart and see what the belts look like. Hopefully be able to replace them. I got a pack of like different size belts. I have no idea which one this one takes. Heard of some guys taking it apart and placing the belts on here and just fixing the tape mechanism. I guess over time those belts, just like anything else, rubber wear out, so I'm gonna replace those. Also recently I went to visit some family and found some of my old cassette tapes, including a tape head cleaner, so I'm gonna hopefully use that in here. And sorry, you're probably waiting a while for this video because it is super hot. So right now it's actually like one in the morning and it's like freaking hot in this garage still. It's been in the hundreds for like the past few weeks and it's going to be at least a hundred for the next week or two. Mid-September cannot come soon enough. So I'm really just going to take this out right now to start off this video. But I'm going to work on this thing inside the house tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys then. Alright guys, I got the radio here. By the way, it's not the next day, it's like several days later. But I'm gonna start taking this apart, and I've never really taken apart a head unit before, so I'm gonna try to be really careful. I'm not really worried too much about losing where the bolts go or anything like that, just kind of more worried about maybe breaking something, so I'm gonna be extra careful, especially with the plastic parts. And it does work, everything works except for the tape mechanism. It starts to get kind of warpy when you're playing a tape. I just did some research online, Seems to be that that's just the belt wearing out. When that happens, it also could eat the tapes. Hopefully this belt is the cause of that and that there's no other issues going on. I'm also gonna use this cassette head cleaner. Once I get everything put back together and put this back into the car, I'll run this. Hopefully between these two things, everything's working good. The radio works perfectly. Um, it's just not very powerful. Well, let's just go ahead and get started. Seems like the first thing to do is just take off the brackets. Might need a bigger screwdriver for this. Uh -oh. okay. okay. Lean into it because these are really on there. These are really stuck. I don't want to break them. Yeah, let's start with this side. Try this side. So, get into it. Try not to strip them. Okay. It's too stuck in there. Let me get the other side of here first. Let's try some of these. Oop. It's like this orange stuff. I'm here, I'm trying to scrape off.
It's got that orange stuff all over it. So it just slides downwards, but is it? Hold it here too. Let's say on here, right, and it says on here left, L, right there. Let's probably order a couple of these. So I did this very carefully, but it seems like, I'm wondering if this part comes up. That's pretty easy. Let's try something here. Let's just put this back on with one screw. So there's little tabs right here, or hooks. See this little hook right here? There's one on the other side towards the bottom. Hook one of these back on there real quick. Put this upside down. And there's a screw under here. So I'm gonna try to take off the bottom piece and see if there's any way to access the belts from here. Oh, it's got some dirt on it. And really, that didn't really do much else either. So I can't really see. I think if there's any belt in here, it's gonna be below. This is the top now again. And this is where the tape kind of goes in. I think it's gotta be below this or maybe below these gears. I have no idea. Actually, I can see a little bit of a circular piece in there. There, there's a disc and there's like a black thing around it. it looks like a belt, so. I'm wondering if I can take this fascia off then. This is gonna be the hardest part here because these are plastic. Well, actually that one, just real careful with it. That one just slid off a little bit. This part coming off easily, this part's giving me trouble and I don't wanna, oh, there you go. Oh, this is, this is nice, okay. Hey, look at that. Oh, I'm wondering if it's held on by anything. Ooh, there's a lot of dirt here. See those dirt right here. Oh, dang, that's nasty. <laughs> it's 
35 years worth of junk. Oh, ooh, uh oh, the knobs. Okay. So it looks like there's a, some screws right here. Here. With that, not sure if that would give me access. Because here's the tape mechanism, and it's, I think it's below. Let's see what's going on up here. So there's two screws right here. I didn't think that this would give me access to that because there's so much stuff around here I didn't want to put anything out of its place. But it seems like it's moving everything. So let's just see what, what happens here. I mean, these screws all look pretty much the same. I'm just comparing them to each other and they all look the same. So, something back here. It's coming up, but there's a thing right here on this side. This plate right here, there's little tabs on the side here that looks to be holding it in. So I think if I spread those out, this comes up with that. Let's try that. Okay. Uh oh, yeah, it's coming up. And this is held on here, there's a little light here or something holding that in there you go it looks like that's all it i think i can unplug this if this comes out easily there you go oh so the thing that i was looking at with the little rubber thing, the belt I think is in this piece here. So I can move all this other stuff out of the way for now. So just so you guys know, it doesn't look like I needed to take out the front, but we'll see. Okay, so this looks like it's a little circuit board or something. It looks like it plugs in. So I can see the belt here already. And I don't know if it's more than one. Little screws here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, thank God, this one came out. But it's almost stripped. Damn. All right, so the screw is basically junk, <laughs> but I got it out. Um, oh, shh, dropped it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a screw like that, but I'll look for one. It's like a little thing that holds these.
So if you were doing this, definitely be a little bit more thorough, but I don't want to take anything else out. I'm trying to maybe see if I can sneak the belts through this, but maybe not. Might need to take this out here. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. Another screw. Is that holding it in? Let's see. This one's coming out. Oh, shit. I think what's holding all this part in is the gears in here and the belt, and I just don't know, I'm real iffy about this, but just kind of pulling it up. It's hard to see, but you kind of have to see the routing of the belt in there. Kind of goes around this circle here, and then around, kind of goes this way, and then around outside, then around the other big one, so. Go, got that one out. So I'm not sure if you guys can see that better. But like I said, it goes, there's another belt right here too. This pulley here has a belt on the bottom, has a belt on the top. The top one goes here and it doesn't go around. This one, it goes to the right of it and then it goes around this big disc over here. Now that that belt's out, this is coming up a little bit more. See, these belts are just thicker. So that's what more my worry is. So I just put a little bit of gold marker on them to make sure I don't confuse them with the new ones. So they felt kind of loose. I've been reading some stuff online. They say you should probably like size down by like 5% maybe. Okay, so here's the original one and here's two new ones. If I stretch this out here, not, not really pulling on it, just Laying it flat, it's about two and one eighth. This one here, smaller one, it's about one and seven eighths. And this one here, right around two, two inches. Oh. So this one's at two and one eighth times two, because if we lay it, pretty much cut it and lay it flat, it'd be about 4.25 this one would be about 3.75 and this would be 4 4.25 to 4 is about 5 to 6 percent lower or shorter so this should be the right one for the small one now let's find the big one so this one is this one's about 4 and 5 eighths 
which is about 4.625 and if we cut it and lay it flat it would be about 9.25 and 5% below that should be roughly 8.78 this one looks to be pretty small but let's see this is about 4 and 3 eighths if I stretch it a little bit it might be 4 and a half but it's about 4 and 3 eighths this one's about 4.375. Cut it and lay it flat, it'll be about 8.75. So this one's probably perfect. Here's the thing. This belt is thicker than any of the bigger belts in here. The smaller belt, the one I'm gonna be replacing it with, is about the same thickness. So I think I need to get one of these that's a little bit thicker because I feel like it's gonna break just not as sturdy. I just checked my orders and the belts that I bought are one millimeter in thickness. And they range from sizes 40 millimeters to I think 135 in length. It's strange though that the smaller ones are thicker, at least they feel thicker. They feel about the same thickness as the old belt. But the longer ones don't seem to be as sturdy. So I'm gonna order two millimeter thick belts but <laughs> and I'm gonna hate myself for this probably but I'm gonna go ahead and put the new smaller belt with the old longer belt put it all back together all right guys scratch all that <laughs> I, I don't want to mess this up so I'm not actually going to put the head unit back in with one of the old belts, like I said. It's several days later again. I know I've been procrastinating on this video, but I'm going to place the order for the belts right now. They're two millimeters thick, and it's the same size range from 40 to 135 in length. Once I get those belts, I'm just going to finish that install up on the next video, but I did want to wrap this one up. It's been so hot here in DFW, but it's starting to cool down. It's September 1st. It's just gotten a little bit better, but it's still kind of hot to be in the garage. It's still in the high 90s, which isn't too bad considering it's been above 100 for about like three weeks straight. But I am actually going out of town for a little bit, so that's why I wanted to just wrap up this video. But I did get a package here. I wanted to go ahead and open this up for you guys. This took a while to come in. I guess they were just backed up for a while. Got a nice little airhead right here. Let's see what we got. Got a couple pieces right here. What do you guys think it is? And I got this big piece right here. And I'm not sure what this is. So this is from Auto Extrude. I think I ordered these on like around July 4th or something. And they came in towards the middle end of August. I kind of already knew that they had a like a huge backlog of stuff. They're behind. But that is super, super nice. So if you guys can see the detail in that. Got their logo right here. These are speaker mounts to be able to install six and a half inch speakers in the doors. And actually I just noticed that it says L right here for I guess the left side. That's really good quality. And here is the right side. Looks pretty much the same, just opposite. Let's take a look. Yeah, just kind of mirroring it. A little imperfections right here. Let's notice that. And then over here. That doesn't really affect the quality, I don't think. It feels pretty sturdy. You guys already know. <laughs> that is nice. cup holder nice detail right here of course this is gonna be hidden though this is supposed to go um, on the right side of the center console got this 
metal coffee mug. Nice. That's nice. So this would probably be for like soft drink cans, 12 ounce cans. Yeah, it's like it's just the hardware and it just lies up there. Let's go ahead and bring this to the car and see how it mounts up. All right, so I'm in the car now. Probably just check the instructions, but I think it goes in here. And so I'm gonna take this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. It's also a screw that goes here. It wasn't in there. <laughs> and I think there's one back here too. Looks like there's some more screws right here. Basically going there and going that way. I'm gonna have to put you guys down and take these off. All right, got the screws out now. Should come up now. So it comes up pretty easily here. And there's these switches probably plugged in. Just jumped on Auto Extrude's website to see how it lines up. And this third thing here on the bracket lines up with this break in the center console. So that tells me that this mounts up to the shifter, which that makes sense. So I'm gonna try to do that here. It seems like this was a little low though. So we'll see how that works out. And this might work out too because one of the things that I noticed on my road trip to New York is that there's a lot of heat coming from this area. So getting all this apart is not a bad thing. Got a bunch of crap over here with this. I guess, does this just go over it? Now, I would think this needs to seal up against the floor because there's rubber right here. There's a gasket right there to seal it. So I would think that goes there and this goes above it. So this thing does come with its own hardware, but the bolts don't seem to be any longer than the bolts that I already had in there for the car. There's not really any benefit that I see with using their hardware versus the one that's already in the car. Finally got it in, just had to put the camera down. It's just wedging it in there. And you can see, kind of scratch it up a little bit in there, not too bad, because this thing is just butting up against it. Not sure if I should just trim this, but it's in there. I'm gonna have to take this out again anyways, like I said, to mess with this and I've got some wires here. I think this is for either my boost controller or my boost gauge. Then I got my cone switch here. I'm not gonna run those up here like I had them because this is just too much stuff over here now. Yeah, see this is just that padding and that plastic back there. There you go. Feels pretty sturdy.
perfect. See how it... In my road trip video, I might have mentioned that my ECU's not mounted up right now, so I can't really close this, but looks like it's pretty good. So one thing I noticed is that it will prevent the seat from going too far forward, but it's pretty easy to just pop it up and take it out if you want to move the seat forward. There is more room to push it back though, so it's not that big of a deal. I think all the way up to where the cup holder is, is about as far up as you want to go anyway, unless you had rear passengers in here for whatever reason. All right, that is pretty much it for this video. I know I didn't really accomplish much here, but it is super hot still, and I'm just trying to avoid being in the garage. All the while saying that, wearing a big ass jacket. Stay tuned, we'll make more progress in episode three with putting the radio back in, getting all this stuff worked on. Appreciate your support. Like and subscribe if you're into Mark III Super content. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.